One, she's not, she's not a data scientist. She's somebody that's got degree in journalism, communication, and geography. She is not involved in collating any data. She does not have the expertise to do that. She is not an epidemiologist. She is not the, the chief architect of our web portal. That is another false statement. And what she was doing was she was putting data on the portal, which the scientists didn't believe was valid data. Days after news spread that the person behind the COVID-19 dashboard was told to resign after questioning data, the governor had some very harsh words about her. Come to find out, she's also under active criminal uh, charges in the state of Florida. She's being charged with uh, cyber stalking and cyber sexual harassment. But tonight, that person, Rebecca Jones, is speaking out to our Jennifer Titus. She says she's setting the record straight on why she's still paying close attention to Florida's coronavirus data and why you should be too. Did you create the dashboard for the Department of Health? From start to finish, I built that entire thing. No one ever even touched it until it was taken away from me. No one had access to touch it. Rebecca Jones says she designed this dashboard on the Florida Department of Health's website, which is updated with the latest daily information on COVID-19 cases in your community county and state. If I didn't care about the public's right to know or the usefulness of the information, I wouldn't have spent every waking minute for two months building it, maintaining it, making sure it worked. And she says it was that dedication to the truth as to why she no longer holds a position with the Department of Health. I never imagined that given how much I had put into it, I'd just be taken off of it. But she says the state, though, can't stop her from continuing to analyze the data. And now she is taking these detailed documents that are released daily by the state and creating her own dashboard. Their data doesn't match often what they're saying it says. So particularly for the Florida metrics where they have these charts and these PowerPoints that say, look, everything's going down and everything's great. That is true for a lot of places. But not great for everywhere. So she's creating a database for the public to use. She says her dashboard will include detailed city data, the number of recoveries, and it will also include information from the Agency for Healthcare Administration when it comes to hospitalizations and beds currently available. And I've built a new one because there were a lot of things I always wanted to see in that dashboard and was told no. Two of the most critical elements of that being that People need to not just say, hey, here's this really scary, terrifying information. Have fun with it. Um, that's step one. Step two should be, here's how you can get tested. She says the truth will eventually come out onto why she no longer works at the Department of Health. So that when I step into a legislative hearing, prepare to testify against the state and DOH about what happened, that there is a swirl of controversy around me so thick that nothing that I say is really going to be heard. But until then, she says she will at least make sure the state of Florida knows the truth about coronavirus in our state. If I didn't care, I wouldn't be adding that elements. If I was just trying to stick it to DOH, I'd just publish the exact same dashboard that I did before, which would take me two hours to build. Um, but that's not what I'm doing. I want people to get help. That's all I've ever wanted was to help people. And be able to use information to make safer and informed decisions. And that dashboard that Jones created is live right now. Guys, we did reach out to the governor and his office numerous times asking for Jones's personnel file as well as questions related to her title. They sent us a statement saying that Jones was fired due to insubordination. We also reached out to the Department of Health yesterday, giving them more than 24 hours to respond to two questions we had about the dashboard. We have yet to hear anything. If you want to see exactly how Rebecca's dashboard varies from the states, head over to 10tampabay.com right now.